name is Sigrid Melchior. I'm a Swedish uh, journalist here in Brussels since uh, 2007. My name is Beatrice Driers. I am an EU reporter and broadcast journalist uh, based in Brussels, where I cover EU affairs. My name is Miriam Burgues. Actualmente soy la responsable de Euroef, que es la sección dentro de la agencia F especializada en, en temas de información europea. I think what piques the interest of media when reporting on the EU are crises. I think it's the nature of news that uh, when everything is running smoothly, that is not news. If something, if there is a problem or conflict, that is news. Y hemos tenido también, o sea, como muy buenos resultados de ver que la gente sí que le ha interesado esos reportajes, los ha leído, los ha compartido, y bueno, creo que también nos ha ayudado un poco lo que decía antes, a, a acercar un poco, ponerle un poco rostro ¿no? y voz a, a esa información sobre, sobre Europa que es, tan, ¿no? que es tan difusa a veces y tan, y tan grande. Una historia con actual people in it is always more interesting or it touches us more than something without humans. Primero creo que hay como que personalizar eh, la historia que tú quieres, o sea, que tú quieres de alguna forma vender, ¿no? Bueno, vender o, o al menos que se, que se divulgue, o sea, ponerle, ponerle rostro a tu historia. I think that is one element why people are less interested in EU politics than the purely national politics, because we don't, uh, we don't have cases in the same way. So it's not necessarily about how the project in itself is working or how the funds are working, but about how people are benefiting from that. The, the impact of a project Interreg or any other regional project or any EU action, that is, uh, that is uh, not one element, it's the key, it's the only, it's the only thing that matters, actually. Hay que buscar un poco, ¿no?, traducir cómo todas esas políticas, cómo esa burbuja de la que se habla a veces de Bruselas, cómo esas políticas eh, se traducen en ejemplos prácticos, ¿no?, en, en el día a día de los ciudadanos. First of all, focus on the success story of your project. Try to highlight what is it that you have achieved and make it into a story. Think about it in a way that it can connect with people. If it's an interreg project that tries to solve a problem that exists because of borders, because uh, that exists in all these countries together, that is interesting. If I were you, I would reach out to local regional journalists in all these countries. Move away from Brussels correspondence, try to focus on national, regional and local media, but try to highlight as well the European angle, the European spirit within your project so that it can reach out to more people. Que la persona que le ofrece esa historia le aporte datos, le aporte fuentes fiables a las que el periodista pueda recurrir, porque al final sin, da o sea, sin datos ¿no? y sin una fuente fiable, o bueno, varias fuentes fiables, eh, o sea, una historia no existe, no, o sea, no está. What you want as a journalist is just a phone number, basically. You just want to easily find someone who you can ask those questions. Something that it might be very simple, but it's super important for journalists, is being able to reach out to the person in charge of the project. So if you can make a phone available or an email account that actually gets to someone that is involved in the project, that's ideal. Yo creo que ante todo eh, una buena historia eh, tiene que generar empatía ¿no? en, en la persona o que la está leyendo en un periódico o que la está viendo en la tele o escuchando en la radio. That it has to be engaging, it has to be informative and it has to connect with people and I think it also has to identify issues that might be relatable for as many people as possible. What is a good story or a story I think is just, it's fairly simple, it has to be new and it has to be interesting. So the reader has to uh, read something that he or she didn't know before and think uh, it matters for them. Try to think as a journalist. This is not a report that you're sending to an institution to justify your project. What you're trying to do is catch their attention. So think about what makes your project interesting, special, different from the rest. Maybe do a background briefing, for instance. You invite uh, rep local reporters 
And connect them. What is important is to connect them to the actual people on the ground. En cuanto a los temas, tratar un poco a veces como escapar de, ¿no? De como de esas etiquetas más globales de, bueno, pues hablamos de cambio climático, sino buscar dentro de, de la idea que tú quieres eh, divulgar, como que es lo, ¿no? Como que es lo nuevo, que es lo que hace que esa idea tuya sea especial, sea única o no, o no se haya contado bien o, o eh, tenga un ángulo distinto.